Hi, welcome to the Restaurant and Retail Marketing Flash Briefing. I'm your host, Michelle Brisbois. Let's get started. This is the ninth year for Dry January. This is a movement that started in the United Kingdom in 2013, and it's all about abstaining from alcohol during the month of January because many, many people tend to overextend themselves when it comes to drinking uh, through the holiday season. So it's a chance in January to you know, dust off those resolutions and back off on the amount of alcohol consumed, of course, can have implications for the restaurant industry. So let's look at the numbers. <clears throat> Experts are saying that they expect a record number of people in the United States to attempt to go dry this month due to the increase in alcohol use during COVID restrictions of 2021. And uh, so, you know, when we look at how many more are doing it this year, uh, what they're seeing, and these are stats from the United Kingdom, that um, uh, one in six adults in the United Kingdom who drink alcohol are planning to participate in dry January, and that's uh, this month. And so that amounts to nearly 8 million adults, which is an increase of 22% compared to January 2021. And that's according to Alcohol Change UK, uh, the leading uh, alcohol-related charity that founded the Dry January program. And so the experts are expecting a similar increase in people going dry for the month of January in the United States. Of course, with so many people being sick with this uh, new variant uh, spreading so rapidly, I'm sure many don't actually feel like drinking. So you might see a shift this month as people uh, abstain. It'll be interesting to see when all is said and done in terms of a health focus, people just in general, uh, once we get to emerge and get back to normal living and God willing, we will soon uh, to see just how that changes, how we embrace non-alcohol products, teas, um, and just a variety of beverages. Talk to you tomorrow. So come on, let's get out.